In today's speech from the throne, we know the Liberal government is planning to lay out its plan for protecting Canada from COVID-19, as well as lay out its strategy for our economic recovery. The pandemic has been particularly hard for Canadians we know with disabilities. More than a third have reported job losses or reduced working hours since March. Disability advocate and journalist Kevin McShann is one of them, and he's joining us this morning from Windsor. Welcome to your morning. Hi, Anne-Marie. So glad to be with you this morning. I'm so glad to be able to have this conversation. Um, Kevin, you live with a form of cerebral palsy. Can you tell us, first of all, how your life has changed since the pandemic? Yeah, so no problem. Uh, I lived with what's called a spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy, which simply means that I don't have enough oxygen in my legs to walk normally. Just like everyone else, uh, the p pandemic has affected me employment-wise. Just before uh, I, the pandemic hit, I was scheduled to uh, sign a contract to uh, take over or resume my role with the Ontario Chamber of Commerce and the Discoverability Network to help uh, the province uh, find work for individuals with disabilities. But because of the pandemic, uh, my contract got suspended. Uh, and Kevin, you are one of 37% of those who live with disabilities who gain their, the main point of their income is from employment income. But that number since August has fallen to 24%. Uh, can you give us some insight into how the pandemic has uniquely impacted people with disabilities from an employment perspective? Yeah, so no problem. Uh, as I said, I was the regional ambassador for the Discoverability Network. So this issue hits close to home for me. Uh, we look at the pandemic and we look look at opportunities for people with disabilities, they're disproportionately affected because uh, op oftentimes businesses won't take an uh, opportunity on someone with a disability because they're looking to get their core business restarted. So people with disabilities will have to work even harder to demonstrate that they have the capabilities to work. And when we look at a recent study from the uh, Ontario Chamber of Commerce, it found that 50% of people with disabilities across our province of Ontario have at least a high school diploma. 40% uh, percent of them have some sort of uh, post-secondary training. And at least 50,000 students uh, from across the province are either in college or in or university. So there is certainly an untapped market uh, that our business community needs to take a look at to ensure that they're giving individuals with uh, disabilities a chance to flourish in the workforce. Kevin, you and I are both going to be watching the throne speech this afternoon. In your role as an advocate for those living with disabilities, what are you watching for? I'm watching for a couple of things. First of all, what are they willing to do to help spur economic opportunities for people with disabilities in terms of uh, what are they willing to do, whether it's increase the monthly level of income that ODSP, which is the Ontario Disability Support Program, gives to folks and what incentives are they going to give to businesses to incentivize them to hire and, and again what are they going to do to help people with disabilities sort of get back to a livable situation and rise them out of poverty as well. Uh, Kevin really quickly can you let us know the social side that you're looking for as well in particular with recreation opportunities because isolation I understand has been extremely difficult. Yeah, uh, certainly uh, social isolation for all of us has been uh, particularly difficult, but uh, for people with disabilities, it's twofold uh, because oftentimes the way they get social interaction is with groups of people and being a part of a group. So when you isolate someone with a disability socially, it makes it harder for them to express themselves and have the opportunity to um, get out into the world and contribute. So certainly when we look, look, look at the government response, I also want to know uh, how they're going to help 
health care workers in their uh, uh, in their throne speech this afternoon in terms of providing them either pandemic pay or uh, the necessary equipment to ensure that people with disabilities have the the appropriate vehicle by their support staff uh, to get out and to contribute to our community from a, a social uh, perspective. Uh, we will also now be watching for all those things as well. Kevin McShan, great to talk to you this morning. Best of luck in your endeavors as you continue to seek employment during this pandemic time. Thanks. Fantastic. Thanks, Anne Marie, for having me. And I really enjoyed our conversation this morning. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.